God. Welcome back my legends to Apex Art. Today we're going to announce the winners of my season 6 contest. So let's begin and start judging this fine pieces of work if I may add. So we're going to start out with the honorable mentions. These people unfortunately didn't win the contest but I like their artwork. By the way there were over a hundred submissions so some people had to be left out. But now that I got that out of the way let's start criticizing these artworks. So the first art we're going to judge are Nessie art. Now I got a lot of Nessie art so thank you for making these but unfortunately you guys couldn't be in the finals because it wasn't really an original idea but some people did were very creative with this um this person named thieves devil made uh, two nessies falling in love i thought that was cute this next person made a nessie jumping over the fence while <laughs> watson's fence which made it even cuter and yeah so and then this is like a little chubby nessie very cute and a long nessie with a long neck so yeah i got a lot of nessies but because it wasn't an original idea they couldn't be in the finals but they were very cute and i thank you for that so the next people we're going to judge are people that made unique designs and this person made a cash sign that says i work hard for the money so that's one of those pathfinder quotes um right here we have somebody that made a sword angel oh uh, at first i thought i'm like is this guy giving me the finger but then i'm like oh nah. clearly kevin if you pay attention enough he's obviously doing drugs <laughs> so yeah thanks for the sword angel art um that may be high but anyways let's what? the next submission is somebody that made the chalky milk meme um yeah chalky milk all the way bro next person we have somebody that drew a face kind of looks like octane i mean he does have those high eyes of his <laughs> but anyways thanks for the picture um this next word this guy got creative and actually used the rave portal i think this is a reference to rave's um finisher where she throws people in the portal so yeah very creative thinking outside the box i like that so this next person drew arthur and honestly even though it doesn't look that good the fact that he tried to draw him as a bird the fact that the paint goes away after a while i give him credit a for effort the next person we now this person got a little bit creative and actually drew the, the devo so yeah at first i thought it was the spitfire but then i'm like oh no it says here i did a devo hope you can tell so yeah i wish you would have said the spitfire because i would have been like hey you know what that's kind of impressive but hey tomato tomato you know what I mean <laughs> so let's move on next person drew a flower by the way some of these um names i accidentally didn't get your full name but thank you for the picture i'm sorry i couldn't get your name i tried to go back and find it but unfortunately since there's a hundred submissions i can't go through all of them and it's pretty hard but thank you for showing me this picture even though i didn't get your name but now this one this one was really cute and it was almost in the finals but unfortunately i found some other ones that were better but i like this little at first i thought it was a squirrel but it turns out to be a kitty and yeah i maybe if it was a squirrel it would have made it to the finals but yeah it's really cute thank you for showing me this jennifer now this curse now this person actually got creative and made a crypto drone picture it's not the only crypto drone picture that someone made but the fact that they did this i was very impressed by it well good job and this is the other person's crypto drone now sean you were so lucky that i was able to find your picture i was about to give up because i'm like where is it i remember i saw it and you're lucky that i found it i was about to give up on you but yeah it was very impressive i like the colors you did on this crypto drone and yeah good job now this person made a pac-man <laughs> picture nice simple i think there was more but unfortunately some people took like a screenshot of their screen so when i took a screenshot of the screenshot it looked kind of blurry and you couldn't recognize it and i think there were some other pac-man ones but i'm not sure if they're going to make it in the video or in if we found them so next one we see here is that we somebody made a simple house um so yeah nice house i like to think this is mirage's house and here we have a pepe meme now this is 
not the best Pepe I've seen. Spoiler alert coming up, but I'm just gonna say thanks for trying. But unfortunately, somebody did it better, and life is full of disappointment. So, let's move on. So, the next thing we see, I'm very confused by this picture. I first, I thought maybe that was like a person on their forelegs. Maybe it's an animal. What is this yellow stuff? I don't know. This is one of those arts that make you wonder what is going on here. So, yeah, normally I like you guys to explain why you're drawing because I have no idea what this is. Um, let me know in the comments what you think it is. Best comment in 24 hours. I'm a pin, so you can get your little clout. But yeah, thanks for the drawing. Made me really think hard about what this is. What am I watching? Is this legal or not? <laughs> so, anyways, let's move on. So, the next person did a very. Uh oh. Sorry, guys. That symbol is not racist because some losers that live in their mom's basements and 4chan were able to fool the media into thinking this is some kind of white supremacist symbol now. Yeah. Uh, this last person made a nuke symbol. Enemy nuke incoming! It's over! Yeah, so that's very nostalgic. Brings back memories. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Respawn actually worked on Modern Warfare 2, one of my favorite games of all time. So yeah, thanks for the memories. So now we got our four finalists for the art category. So you guys are going to vote for who you think deserves to win the art side of the contest. So the first contestant, we got this person that unfortunately I didn't get their main name. So I'm sorry. But if you do win, I'm going to make sure I go find you and DM you and give you a reward. But this person was very creative. It made a Tetrix um, art. So yeah, that's very creative. I like that a lot. Very simple, fun, and unique. I like that. It hits all three categories. Next person made a Pathfinder. Pathfinder's face, which I think they did a really good job. And they made it where there's a circle going around it. So yeah, the fact that they were able to do this really fast. I'm not sure if he did get help or not. But I personally like it. You could tell that they spent a lot of time trying to get this right because he even said that I'm tired. So yeah, so thanks. Now this next person made a loot tick. Now loot ticks are not in the game. I'm pretty sure they will be coming in the future. It'll be pretty weird if they don't come out in the future. But anyways, he made a little loot tick. I thought it was nice, simple, very creative. And the last person for the art side of the contest, they made the Brazilian flag and they said that they did it for Lova. Hey, James, I'm the biggest simp for Lova okay but yeah it was a nice touch nice try i know you probably tried your best but you know the paint doesn't stay that long but yeah so those are our four finalists so both for which one you like the best the tetrix one the pathfinder one the loot tick one or the brazilian flag one and now for the funny side of the contest so the, i found these four i think these were the best funny ones that i found so yeah so this person named peppa pig made a surprise pikachu face and yeah it looks really good not, not bad especially since he did it by himself so i'm not gonna judge him too harshly but yeah nice job now this person right here unfortunately i didn't get their name completely but i can kind of see it right here this person made a crossover with five nights at freddy's the man behind the slaughter also known as purple guy although if you really want to find a man that was behind the slaughter go talk to cuban bliss tell him about that village he once destroyed for fun now this next person made pepe the frog and i gotta say pretty damn nice like it was so nice that he even made it his profile pig because yeah i just gotta say nice job i i wasn't expecting this i was surprised oh and if youtube asks if this is pepe the frog no this is just a frog <laughs> totally not pepe the frog this is just a frog eating cheetos all right <laughs> so yeah we get our story straight just in case youtube asks so the last person is now this person i was very impressed by it because he actually made shrek <laughs> and i was like no way but he actually did it now obviously he got help from his friend so if you do win um i don't know how you're gonna split the ten dollars but yeah nice creative simple well it wasn't simple it was kind of complex but yeah nice job doing shrek and apex i like it and yeah so those are the contestants for the funny side and you get to vote later on after this video so yeah i'm gonna put a community vote where you can vote over there and choose for your favorites one's going to be for the funny side and the other one's going to be for the art side and yeah let me know if you enjoyed this and if you want more of this in the future if they add the hop up back up and yeah i'll see you all next time peace